Hi, I'm Mike of Convolution Cloud, and we're here today at St. Saviour's Church in Guildford. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a mono import response, a sample of this acoustic space, using your preferred DAW and a Bloom Pop as our import source. For this, you will need a DAW. We'll be using Pro Tools, but you can use whatever you like, a USB or Firewire sound card, a microphone, we'll be using the SE4400A set to omnidirectional, and not forgetting some balloons. Let's get started. I've blown up some balloons and I've placed the microphone down the other end of this space to capture the full ambience. This method of creating an impulse response is probably the easiest, but some might say yields the worst results. Because these balloon pops won't be constant, I will record a few balloon pops so I can choose the best sounding impulse. The next step will be to set up a mono track in your chosen DAW and arm it for recording. Give your microphone enough gain so it picks up the balloon pops and then press record. Now the fun bit, bursting the balloons. If your input is clipping, turn it down before you burst your next balloon. Now that I have popped all the balloons, the next step will be to find the best impulse and edit it in the DAW. Now that I've recorded the balloon pop, the next step will be to find the best impulse and edit it. I've chosen this balloon pop as it sounds nice and healthy and really captures the room's ambience. This will need to be edited and exported as a WAV before I can upload it to convolutioncloud.com. First things first, I'm going to remove the audio either side of the impulse like so. There is still too much silence at the start of this impulse, so I'm going to get rid of it by using the tab to transient feature within Pro Tools. This nifty feature allows me to jump right to the start of the transient, so I can cut exactly at the beginning of the balloon pop. I'm also going to trim this bit of silence off at the end to neaten it up even further. Now that the impulse has been edited, it is ready to be exported. The impulse response is now ready to be uploaded to convolutioncloud.com and to be used in your favourite Convolution Reverb plugin or other devices. And now we're done. Thanks for watching this video and happy uploading.